This episode of Android Weekly is brought to you by Domain.com. So you remember all the ruckus that was made about the Snapdragon 810 overheating? Well, it turns out to be a lot of hot air. And some believe that that hot air was a false rumor created by Samsung itself. To help generate buzz regarding its own system on a chip, the beast that is the Exynos 7420. So, let's look at that puppy a little closer. As expected, the Samsung Galaxy S6 is another industry-leading flagship smartphone, especially when it comes to hardware, packing in some of the latest and greatest pieces of mobile tech. This time though, Samsung has opted to exclusively use its in-house Exynos 7420 system on a chip, rather than a Qualcomm processor as it has done in previous years. So let's dive into the specifics. One of the Exynos 7420's big talking points has been the move down to a 14 nanometer FinFET manufacturing process, which puts Samsung ahead of Qualcomm's 20 nanometer Snapdragon 810. Because when it comes to manufacturing size, smaller numbers are better, as shorter transistor distances consume less energy and boost processing speeds. However, smaller, closely packed transistors can lead to current leakage between parts of a chip, an issue that FinFET manufacturing addresses by enclosing the conducting channel in a thin silicon fin. For the same processor design, lower power consumption means heat room for increasing clock speeds or additional power savings, which will help explain some of the capabilities of Samsung's chip as we dive deeper. The bulk of Exynos 7420's processing components are rather familiar though. It's built from ARM's reference Cortex-A57 and A53 CPU cores. At a quick glance, the design is very familiar to the Galaxy Note Exynos 5433 chip. Thanks to the smaller manufacturing process, Samsung has been able to up its clock speeds to 200 MHz on the GPU side and 72 MHz on the GPU side, working out to a very rough 10% increase over the Exynos 5433. And while this will inevitably lead to some performance gains, the biggest changes have been made to the system on a chip's memory and GPU specifications. But the GPU is where Samsung has implemented the largest performance gains over the Exynos 5 series. As well as the clock speed increase, Samsung has scaled up the number of GPU cores from 6 in the Note 4 to 8 in the S6. And this extra graphics grunt will come in handy when gaming on the Galaxy S6's QHD display. Comparing our own Galaxy S6 benchmark test against the Galaxy Note 4, we see a rather substantial increase when it comes to 3D graphics performance at 2560x1440. Now benchmarks don't indicate real world performance, but it certainly confirms the areas in which Samsung has managed to make significant improvements. With performance up and consumption down, Samsung's push for a 14 nanometer has clearly paid off and it's clear why the company chose to drop Qualcomm Snapdragon series this generation. Although CPU performance is only marginally better than some existing flagships, additional GPU performance and battery savings are precious improvements for Samsung's QHD Galaxy S6. So in yesterday's show, I made the effort to find a new domain name that was interesting, a new one that I haven't talked about before. So I just grabbed the first one I saw, Shishka having no idea what it meant, but it turns out it means a genteel girl or woman, especially one who attracts a Jewish man. I don't need any Jewish men, thank you, I'm good, uh, but I do need a good domain name extension. And who knows, there could be a lady out there who wants to be the android dot shishka, just not me. Because it's not just about .com, .net, or .org anymore, you now have the opportunity to name your site or build your brand in ways never before possible. Choose from a growing list of more than 200 domain name extensions like .ninja, .nyc, .expert, or .club, and in this case, .shishka. All available now at domain.com. And the guys at domain.com want to hook our viewers up with a great offer. Save 15% off domain names and web hosting when you use our coupon code Android at domain.com checkout. Don't forget, 15% off when you use our coupon code Android. When you think domain names, think domain.com. All right, thanks for watching all you Android shishkas. Love to connect with you right here on Google Plus or Twitter as usual. And you don't want to forget about these guys. These guys who work so hard to deliver the best content on the web, your source for all things Android.